Hey there friends, thanks for joining me again. Today I would just like to talk a little bit about gray water. You know, before I get to showing you how I actually do gray water, let me talk about what gray water actually is. Basically, gray water is just using water more than once. Um, a really simple example of that would be, and that's not today's example um, that I'm going to be showing you, but um, people sometimes will hook a gray water system up to their laundry facility. Basically, they'll just you know, use their washer to wash their clothes, and then as the pump um, pumps the water out of their washer, it'll pump it out onto like some trees or some bushes, you know, any kind of shrubs, whatever, uh, maybe even grass or something like that. Um, I personally think the best way to use gray water is actually in the bathroom, not with the toilet, before you get up, you know, a little bit nervous about where I'm going with this. It's actually the shower. I honestly think that, you know, our bathing is actually what uses the most water. Um, so when I use my gray water system, I don't use it pretty much on anything else, no sinks, no toilet, nothing, for now. Um, I basically just use it in the shower. And with the water that we use from my husband and my two kids, and me of course, when we need to use it, you know, when it's not raining or whatever, um, we can use this gray water system and we make it so that we never even have to water the grass. So this could potentially save a person a lot of money in a year. Um, basically, you know, how much water we use for bathing is like, it amounts to thousands of gallons every single month, let alone if we were to use it all summer long when we need to irrigate our grass and our trees and things like that. So the simple gray water system that I'm going to show you today doesn't use any kind of plumbing. And the reason I don't want to use any kind of, you know, a plumbing in mine, you know, because some people will do that where they'll actually plumb away you know, to where the water is coming down there, um, you know, when you're, it's going down the drain, instead of going down into the drain and into the sewer, it'll actually go outside to a hose bucket and then out onto the grass. The problem with that is that in a lot of areas, using gray water or installing a gray water system onto your house is illegal. So if you're a homeowner and you want to use gray water, if you install a system, it may make it harder for you to sell your house and you may have to uninstall it before you're able to sell it because it's illegal to have it. Um, so the way that I am going to show you, you need no additional plumbing. All you need is a few inexpensive supplies. And once you have them, you can use it when you want to. You can decide you don't want to use it when it's raining or when the grass or whatever else you're watering, you know, doesn't need it. You can just choose not to use that and have all the water still go down to the, uh, the sewer. Or when it's the off season, the stuff is really easy to pack up and, you know, store away for a little while so that you don't have to worry about any of the things freezing or anything like that. Like, if you were to plumb it in, you might have to worry a little bit about the water freezing. So anyway, it's a really simple and easy way to save a lot of money um, and to reuse water. And if you have, like, watering restrictions in your area, which we usually do in our area because water is, you know, it's a precious a uh, commodity. It's a really precious resource. Um, it can make it so where you can keep your grass green without having to, you know, worry about breaking the watering restrictions. And in our area, sometimes the watering restrictions are so, you know, strict that, you know, you can get fined and things like that. And so without having to go into all that, <laughs> you know, um, I think gray water is a good way to save, you know, a lot of money and it's really good for, you know, our water resources to use it more than once in my opinion. I really think it makes sense. If I'm already paying for it, I should be able to use what I want, use it for what I want. And if I want to use it more than once, I think I should be allowed to. So anyway, um, one more quick thing before I show you the system though. We do need to be a little bit mindful if we're going to be using it for the shower about the products we're actually using in there. Because the products that are I mean, I guess in general, the ones that are less healthy for us are also going to be less healthy for uh, our environment and for our grass. So if we're choosing products like shampoos and conditioners and things like that with a lot of chemicals in it, and I can't get into all the different chemicals, I definitely don't have time for that. I mean, I couldn't anyway, I don't know about them all. Um, but, you know, if we're using the cheap ones that are usually, you know, full of chemicals and things, those aren't going to be the best for our yard. Um, if we're using ones that are more healthy for us, though, they tend to be more healthy for our um, environment as well, and so they will be a better choice to use for our grass. And so uh, if you are going to be using gray water, I definitely do recommend making sure to choose some really healthy and natural products 
not only so that they're healthier for our yard, but you know, it's a double benefit really because it's going to be healthier for us as well and they'll be suitable for a gray water system. The only exception to this would be soap because bar soap is actually made with um, sodium chloride to make the soap and you know it doesn't really it's not bad for us but it can be bad for the soil because the sodium portion of the sodium chloride can actually build up in the soil and act like salt uh, and make it harder for the grass and things to grow whatever it is we're watering and so uh, when it comes to choosing an actual soap a liquid soap is better that's made with potassium chloride and that's going to be healthier for the grass and either one are healthier for us but you know just if you get to choose um, you know a bar soap or a liquid soap I would choose a liquid for this particular application so there you go um, now you can decide if gray water is right for you and if you decide that it is right for you here is how you use it okay friends so here is how I use my gray water system Oops. The reason that this gray water system is easy to use is because we don't have to use, again, any plumbing. So here is the first thing that we have to do. The first thing we do is when we're going to take a shower or a bath or whatever it is, you plug the water. And then when you take your bath or your shower, you just let the water fill up in the bathtub. This water is actually water that was left over from when my kids took a bath earlier this morning. So the next thing that we do once we have our bathtub full of water, and now here's the real trick to it. It's a pond pump. This is a submersible pond pump um, that you can get at pretty much any home improvement store or any big box store. And this is what really makes this whole thing possible. Basically, we take this submersible pond pump, we submerse it into the bath water, and then we plug it in. And this sucks all of the bath water out into the yard. This takes all of that water that we just used once to bathe in um, and has all of the stuff you know, whatever soap or whatever else we used when we were taking our shower, just like we would normally, uh, it's all diluted and in the water all mixed together. And now this is going to take the water and it's going to pump it outside. And that's how we get the water from the bathtub outside. Okay, here's what it looks like from the other side of the window. Basically, this is the tube that was um, just in the bathtub over here. It's run out the window and now basically I shoved the tube into the end of a hose. The reason I had to do this step is because my uh, tube here, this black one, isn't long enough to go all the way to the grass and the other areas that I want to water, so I had to go ahead and put it into the hose. And it actually fits really well. I didn't have to use anything to make that stick together or anything. I just shoved it inside there and, as you can see, it doesn't leak. Okay, and here it is at the end of its journey. This is the hose that is pumping the gray water out here to my grass. Basically, this is a really simple, super simple way to water our grass without having to you know spend a whole lot of money basically what this is you know equal to is like flood irrigation basically if you were to just take a hose and lay it on the ground and turn it on it does not make it so that there's spots in the grass that are thicker or you know greener than other spots on the grass because the way this works is when it comes down here to the ground it floods the entire area with water as you can see the water is going you know more than just where the hose originally starts it goes quite a bit and as it continues to suck all of the water out of the bathtub and putting it all here on the grass um, the water or the areas that are saturated will become so full of water that the water will continue to go off and further and further so that this whole area is full of water so basically what I'll do is my kids will take a bath and I'll put the hose right here to water the grass here and then when we take a bath or whatever, a shower later on in the day, um, you know, I'll put the hose over there and then we'll water there and then I'll put the water over there and we'll water that area and so on. So I just drag the hose around the yard basically and, you know, every time we, we bathe or whatever, we'll just uh, put the water out here on the grass. And be sure to check the uh, description box above for the actual price breakdown of how much this can actually save you uh, as far as even just one season. Um, the average amount that people spend, you know, watering their grass is just astronomical. I mean, thousands of gallons every single month. And again, that can save you. This can save you all of that money if you just use your water that you're using from your shower or whatever, your bath, to just go ahead and pump it all out and here onto your grass. Um, so yeah, again, be sure to check out that description box, box above and, you know, find out the actual uh, cost breakdown to see if it's worth it for you.
Uh, I'm Frugal Green Girl, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.